to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Welcome to the Mary Goulet Show, cultivating a rich interior. Now, here's Mary. Welcome back to the program. I'm here with Dave Keenest of Keenest Coaching, K E. K E H N A is an apple, S is in Sam, T is in Tom. Keenast. Is it keenastcoaching.com? It's uh, actually davekeenast.com, but if you go on Facebook, it's Keenest Coaching. Okay, cool. Um, big game changer for me, I'll tell you that. Um, and every week, I'm like, I don't need this. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. And in the first 15 minutes, I'm like, what? I don't, I don't well, need to do this. And then, koosh. Well, I think a fun thing to presence with... Um, coaching is that like there's really there's nothing fundamentally wrong with any of the people i work with when they sign on like life is typically going fine Mm -hmm. you know it's just about like creating awareness around what's in the way of them having something more you know what i mean just having a more enriched like i don't work with head cases you know what i mean it's just like the average my average client is just like a normal person doing life and they just want a little bit more and they want to make a change so that's i think another misconception about coaching is that it helps it helps people sort out problems and whatnot. It's more about supporting people and stepping into what's truly possible for them. Yeah, and if you liken it to the golf coaches, you know, Tiger's got a pretty mean right. swing, but yep. he still has a coach. Yeah, Michael Jordan, you know, right. had a coach. Okay, so let's go back to the surfing. Because um, yeah. you were praying the rosary, and then I remembered you said you were surfing. I said, hey, great opportunity. If you're prostrate on the, on the board waiting for the wave, put out a couple potent Hail Marys. Yeah, I, I swear to, I swear to God, I paddle out. If I'm just in my, what we refer to in coaching as my essence, if I'm just in this very unattached, full, unattached, joyful, playful place, which I am ninety percent of the time that I surf, and I yeah, you pad- can't be aggro on the well, water. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole other thing. You definitely <laughs> can be, particularly at some spots. But um, but uh. I swear, to, I say my Hail Marys when I'm sitting there on the board, and I just get more waves. I just get more waves. Like, Have you done period. an A-B test on it? Like, don't pray it? No, because I always pray it. Oh, there you yeah, go. Or I, what, and I'm not always doing that. Sometimes I'm visualizing. Sometimes I'm doing mantras that I know from Kundalini Yoga. But my point is, when I'm consciously connecting to God, he, she, it, the universe, while I'm in the water, I get more waves than everybody else. It's, it's almost unfair. It's and they're, they're, they're not even waves that some other guy could get. They're, like, away from everybody else. I'm not taking them from everybody. They're, like, mine. It's hilarious. Wow. So that's a lesson for us to ride the wave in all other areas of our life. Yeah, and that's, I mean, the, the you know, surfing, it's really about all a wave. It's just this very connected experience. It's just this beautiful connection with, like, the core of everything. I can't really explain it. You know, this little little ripple is created hundreds if not thousands of miles away and you know the surfers get this opportunity to ride it for five six seven seconds yeah it's miraculous it's beautiful it's one of the most moving experiences you could have yeah and here in Encinitas if you're a surfer you go to a board meeting as many times a week as possible many board four board meetings in a row this week there you go Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and no one will fault you no one will. Not around here. Not around here. No, it, I consider as a co- I consider it part of my work day. I mean, I was in the ocean five to six this morning before the sun was out, and I just consider it's a that board as, meeting. It's a board meeting. <laughs> Got to have my board meeting before I meet with my clients. You know. So let's go back to the rosary because in the break you mentioned yeah. to me. Uh, I'll preface it with this: I when I saw the Paul the Apostle, um, Jim Caviezel was Luke. And he was also Passion of the Christ, which is, and I watched this interview with him. And then I start, started thinking, okay, Dennis Quaid, Mel Gibson, Mary Higgins Clark, who's an author, and you mentioned Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. So tell me the story about him praying the rosary. Well, if Jim, there is a fascinating documentary um, on Netflix currently, and it's about the making of the movie Man in the Moon, where Jim Carrey played uh, Andy Kaufman. Right, and uh, the it, the movie is is fast. It's a fascinating movie because Andy uh, Jim Carrey actually embodied Andy Kaufman. Yes, he wasn't he did. just playing it; he became him. 
and channeled him. It's bizarre. But uh, Jim Carrey's a really very deeply spiritual and mystical guy. And he, he shares in the, um, the movie that he learned to pray to the Virgin Mary when he was like four, five, six years old. And he discovered that he could ask the Virgin Mary for anything he wanted and he would get it. And so he just started off asking her for a bike, and he got a. He knew he would get it. He was positive. He got a <laughs> bike like three or four days later, and the, the the circumstances around how the bike came into his possession were just hilarious. Like his neighbor got one; it was too big, he couldn't ride it or whatever, and yeah. he just left it at his doorstep, literally. And he knew it was going to be there, right? So he had this unwavering faith in what he asks for will manifest. Which goes, I'm, was that Matthew seven seven, the Bible verse: "Ask and it is given." I, I don't know the first number, but it basically it's says, in "Ask there. for, ask for it, and I'll give it to you." But you got to have faith, you know. And then, if you're if he's praying the rosary, he's praying to the Blessed Mother, and whatever you're petitioning, whatever you're asking for, you can't just sit and eat bonbons waiting for it right. to show up. Yeah, you got to take action. So, like, if I want to grow my business, I got to tell the universe I want to hit this goal, and then I have to. I have to follow the breadcrumbs of inspiration that will lead me to the people whose lives I'm supposed to transform. Exactly. So I can't just, like as Jim Carrey says, you can't just visualize and eat a sandwich. you got to visualize, and then you have to take action. And there's always going to be action. And it, from, from, based on my experience, it's never too much action, but it's like small and decisive amounts of action. Well, and it's intention. You're, you're staying present with it. Yeah, action. And, yeah, exactly. Like if you get really clear on what you want... And then it, it's like I, I get clear on what I want. I want to hit this goal this month financially. And then I go surfing. When I'm surfing, I'll very often get, when you get done surfing, make sure to Facebook message this person or email that person exactly. back. And it's never a ton of work for me personally because I don't like to work hard. You know, I'm just, just not my thing. I've done it. Don't care to do it again. Um, but it's, I still have to take those small and decisive actions. And I think the key word, because I have that word in my Go With Your Gut book, breadcrumbs. Yeah. Follow the breadcrumbs. Stop getting in your head right. and saying, oh, if I do this, then I can manipulate that to happen and justify it or rationalize it, and then you run into a brick wall. So if we just follow the inspired breadcrumbs one at a time, not thinking, oh, I know where it's taking me. So this that old saying, oh, God, please help me, help me, help me, or Mary, help me, help me, help me, and then they do. Yep. Because you're earnest, you're asking, you're faithful. And then you stop and go, okay, God, I, I'll take it from here until you run into trouble again. Right. And well, it's, it's, and there's the aspect of integrity, right? Which is just very practical if you just bring everything down to planet Earth based, even if you have no spirituality. Like if you have no Marian, you have no God, like it's just very simply doing what you say you, will, you are going to do that will get you to where you want to be. Okay. So tell the story about. In September, the New Media Summit, yes. and how you reluctantly showed up for that, and we met. Yeah, so Steve Ulsher, you know, mm-hmm. you do have a show with Steve Ulsher. He's an amazing guy. He's up to amazing things. And uh, he, uh, I, I met him at a networking event that I didn't want to go to, but it was on my calendar. And so because it was on my calendar, I had to honor what was on my calendar. So I showed up to the networking event. He gave this great presentation about podcasting, basically sold me in an instant on going to the New Media Summit. And then I actually put the wrong days for the New Media Summit in my calendar. I think it started on a Friday, and I had it down as starting on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I woke up Friday morning and didn't realize that it started that day, and I just wasn't in the mood to go be around a bunch of people. But <laughs> I just wasn't. You know, I'm kind of an introvert. Yeah. But, and I hadn't prepared for it. And, but but it's because I said I would do it, I showed up, and that's the integrity piece, just doing what you say you're going to do. And then I can't even remember how it went down. I think I was, I was chatting with... Richard, I believe, Richard Ote, and you overheard a conversation I was having with him, and that's how you and I got into a conversation. And so you were actually the first person that booked me to be on their podcast, on no, their that's show. Funny. Yeah, and, um, and the rest is history. But I had to show up. So I show up, and then, and as a result of meeting you, that's how I found the rosary, and that's because that's why I take my Hail Marys into the ocean now, and that's why I had a hit a business record in February. I attribute that to my rosary petition i had done and that's why i have some sort of some other things as well when you ask the blessed mother to intercede on your behalf so a lot of people will say to me whatever faith they might be i was told just go straight to jesus Hmm. and i'm like okay as dave mentioned in the last segment 
She's the queen of heaven. She's the daughter of God. She's the mother of God and the spouse of the Holy Spirit. She's rad. She was a young girl, probably 13 years old, 14 years old, that the angel Gabriel went to her and said, you're going to have a baby and you're going to name him Jesus. And you know what she said? Yes, I will do it. So she had to show up. She showed up. Right. So when we go to her, she elbows Jesus for whatever we're looking for. And she was given the uh, honor from God to grant the graces to us. So this is coming on from on high. Oh, this is, yeah. And so you might want to pay attention to her, pray to her. Um, Some people say, well, you don't praise Mary. No, but you certainly venerate her. You hold her up in high esteem. You know, I just notice a different energy between her and Jesus. Like one of my favorite things of going back, going back home to Chicago is to hang out in the, the cathedrals, which oh, are just yeah. some of the beautiful. most magnificent creations in the history of the world. There's one called Holy Name and another one that's even more beautiful called St. Alphonsus. And I can just feel their two energies as distinct from one another. Hmm. It's just really interesting. And, I, you know, I think one is being masculine and one is being feminine, but... Oh, nice. Yeah, I think we can ask for guidance from either. There are so many stories I could tell you about Mary going to peasants, young children, and saying, go to the bishop and have a church built for me here, for my son. There's so much history. That's why Catholicism is cool. It is cool. Because it wants all of us to acknowledge the saints and learn through history how much they praise Jesus and he's real. And that makes her real. Absolutely. All right. We'll be right back on the Mary Goulet Show. Thank you. By listening, you help prove that content marketing works. You need to engage your customers. We provide the solution. Contact Wade at WSRadio.com or call 866-WS-RADIO. If you heard that sound... You probably are eligible for insurance from Navy Mutual, insuring the men and women of the Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. Here's what one policyholder, retired Navy Commander Thomas Dade, had to say. Navy Mutual is the best insurance decision I ever made. I wish you had a savings plan available that earned the rates my Navy Mutual insurance has been earning. Navy Mutual Aid Association, started by military members in 1879, serves active, reserve, and retired military today. Navy Mutual honors our military by providing them affordable life insurance with the features they need without fine print, sales fees, or military service restrictions. Value, integrity, trust, and stability are the cornerstones in which our commitment to you and your loved ones are built. Call Navy Mutual at 1-800-628-6011 or NavyMutual.org for your personal life insurance plan consultation. 1-800-628-6011 or NavyMutual.org. Navy Mutual, insuring those who serve. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways, so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com, and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. I can't speak more highly about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me get my health back, get my energy back. And Dr. Ogoli, when I first came to you guys, you found a thyroid problem, and I had no clue. But that's really common with a lot of your patients, right? Underactive thyroid is the most missed diagnosed condition in the United States. According to the American Whoa. Academy of Endocrinology, well over 25% of the population is not being diagnosed properly. It's because of the testing parameters. If you go to your traditional doctor, they could be missing a key component. If you have crushing fatigue, inappropriate weight gain, cold hands, cold feet, 
losing hair, lack of concentration, even headaches and migraines could be caused by underactive thyroid. At Progressive Medical, we get to the root cause of the problem because we are integrative, and integrative medicine is good medicine. We use a combination of medication, natural supplements, diet, nutrition, lifestyle modification, and that's what makes it so unique because we tailor it to your personal needs, and that's interesting because you are tailored. Yes, and if you want to get your energy back, be the most vibrant version of yourself, you got to get to Progressive Medical Center. I'm so glad I went. Contact them today through progressivemedicalcenter.com.